So here we're going to try and figure out what is the additive and the multiplicative inverse of a certain number in terms of modulus. Now, first things first, what are we trying to find and what is it? So let's firstly work on the additive inverse. Now, the inverse property states that for, add, for adding is that we need to find add a certain number to an, an, a term, say 5, and make sure it equals to 0. If there was no mod, we could say that in order to get 0, the certain number we could add is technically minus 5, because this guarantees a 0. This would be the so-called additive inverse. Okay. Now, in terms of mod, and this is the reason why I'm giving you a straight easy example, one, because it's an exam paper, and two, because we don't need to necessarily find the mod of certain numbers. All we need to do is find what is how do we make 11 from 5? Literally, because when you have 11 mod 11, what that gives you a 0. So to get that, we just add 6, and this will give us 11 mod 11, and that is 0 mod 11, and we're done. That's how you do the additive. The key idea is that a certain variable A plus B must give you 0 mod some term. Very straightforward. This is the additive inverse. Now, for the multiplicative inverse, not too bad. It's a bit different. The general property states that we need to have some term A, which we can take as 5, times some term, let's call it X, mod N, and this should give us and eventually 1 mod n. Okay, so we need to somehow cancel each other out. So it's like saying, for example, 5 times 1 over 5 will give us 1. So the x value is technically the inverse of a. So to make it even more clear, technically, the correct term should technically be something like this. This is what we're actually looking for, a times the inverse of a. Now, the only way to do this, and now we're using prime, thankfully, is that we can use a very famous method known as Fermat's Little Theorem. And Thurman Little's theorem was so so profound <laughs> that he got he got pretty much one, uh, one of the most famous prizes known. So we can firstly define the formula. So noble so <laughs> Thurman's Little theorem states that we have a term a to the power of some prime mod that prime will give us that term back a. Come on, this is art, guys. Yeah. And now what we could do to simplify this one in order to make a one mod. You could just times both sides by a to the power negative 1. So that cancels to 1, and that simplifies to a to the p minus 1, mod p. And cancel a times a minus 1 is, is 1. Done. That's literally it. So now, what does this mean? So this actually tells us that to get 1, we can just simply <laughs> find a negative 1. So actually, yeah, let's take this one step further. How to get a negative 1 from here? We can actually times again both sides by a negative 1. So we can have a to the power p minus 2 mod p. 1 times a negative 1 is a negative 1. And that's it, guys. This is the formula we want to use. So thank you, Fermat. You really helped us <laughs> solve these kind of problems. So how do we get this? Let's have a go. Well, let's work at 5 mod 11, yeah? So we got the values here. So we can say firstly a is 5. Using the f final formula, the prime value is 11. So it'll be... 11 take away 2 is 9, mod 11, and this should equal, well, a to, uh, 5 to negative 1, which is technically the value needed to times with the original value 5 to get a value 1. But we need, to, we need to use a whole number, so let's work out this 5 power 9 mod 11 first. So let's work in the beginning. Let's work a 5 squared first, and let's try and make 5 to power 9. 5 squared is 25. So this will give us 25 mod 11, which is the same as, and reducing this mod, remember you can just simply um, subtract it by 11 to get 14, and subtract 11 again, and you get with, left with 3. So quite straightforward, always reduce it. So apparently 5 squared equals 3, that means 5 to the power 4, if you square both sides, will give you 9. That means 5 square again, 5 to the power 8 will give you 81. And 81 mod 11, Again, do the same thing, keep subtracting 11. And eventually, when you keep subtracting 11 all the way, you should be left to 4. So finally, to get 5 to power 9, we can just say 5 to power 8 times 5 to power 1 will give us literally uh, 4 times 5. 5 to power 1 is 5, so 4 times 5 is 20. And 20 mod 11 is going to be 9. <laughs> 